Right guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, in today's video we're going to look at the controversial decision to make uh, Josh van der Fleer World Rugby Player of the Year. Uh, I know to the Northern Hemisphere team or fans it probably don't come as a surprise but uh, again I think there's a lot of bias towards the Northern Hemisphere and most of the uh, selected uh, people in the uh, World Rugby is from the Northern Hemisphere. So one can understand that uh, once in a while you make a silly decision like leaving out the best player of, of the world and not even nominating him for the prestigious award. And uh, that guy's name is Ari Sevilla. Um, he is the All Blacks number eight and a valuable player for them. He has been this year and according to me should have been rewarded that uh, Rugby Player of the Year award. So I've had a lot of slack from a, a couple of people on YouTube saying that uh, we're trying to be biased and we need to go and look at the stats. The stats will tell you the truth. So I've gone and done that and uh, let's go and have a look at the stats from the two players mentioned here. So we'll start with uh, Josh van der Fleer. Here we got the attack, kicking, defense and discipline. Comparing Josh van der Fleer to Ari Sevilla from the All Blacks. And remember guys... Ardi Sevilla was not nominated for Player of the Year, but Josh van der Fleer, along with Anton Dupont, Johnny Sexton and Lucania Am were nominated. So let's first go to the attack. We've got 17 points for Josh van der Fleer, 20 points for uh, Ardi Sevilla, pretty even. Uh, three tries to Josh van der Fleer, four tries to uh, Ardi Sevilla. That's a, a right mark for uh, Ardi Sevilla there. 243 meters made by Ardi Sevilla compared to the 168 from Josh van der Fleer, um, 83 runs to 67, defenders beaten 7 for Ardi Sevilla, only 3 for Josh van der Fleer, 2 clean breaks each and then the passes uh, 38 by Josh van der Fleer, 56 by Ardi Sevilla and in the telling one at the bottom, try assists only 3 for Josh van der Fleer to the 14 try assists from Ardi Sevilla. Now, this uh, stats are being provided by Rugby Pass on their website. Whether it's 100% accurate, uh, we have learned from the past that they're not always 100% accurate, but it at least gives us a, an idea. So, going to kicking, for some reason uh, it says that Josh van der Fleer got a conversion against the All Blacks in the second test this year. Um, I can't confirm or deny that one. Let's go and have a look at the defence. So, tackles 123 for Josh van der Fleer. To only the 76 of Ardi Sevilla. Now, what does that tell you? Ardi Sevilla with his 14 try assists, 243 uh, meters made, four tries, uh, compared to Josh Van der Fleer's 123 tackles and uh, 168 meters made, and only three try assists means that Ardi Sevilla with a more attacking player and Josh Van der Fleer with a more defensive player. Now, I know defense wins you matches, and he was massive in that third test against the All Blacks, but so too was Ardi Sevilla. Now, Ardi Sevilla only making 76 tackles to the 123 of Josh van der Fleer. Tackles missed, eight by Josh van der Fleer. Only one tackle missed by Ardi Sevilla all year. Then turnovers one, two from Josh van der Fleer for the 123 tackles that he made. Two turnovers are very little. Compare that to Ardi Sevilla's 76 tackles and six turnovers one. It does tell you a story there. Then uh, turnovers conceded uh, nine by Josh van der Fleer and only five by Ari Sevilla. That is also a telling statistic as well. Discipline, six penalties conceded by Josh van der Fleer, while Ari Sevilla has only conceded two penalties during the season. Once again, it is rugby pass uh, statistics <clears throat> and uh, not always 100% sure whether it's 100% accurate, but like I said, it gives you an idea and according to the statistics, I have to say, shame on you World Rugby for not even considering Ardi Sevilla as uh, Player of the Year or even nominating him for the prestigious award. It's now the second year in a row where they've snapped two really good players. Again, Ardi Sevilla for me, the Player of the Year. Ivan Etzebet had a monster year for South Africa as well. He could have easily have been nominated ahead of a guy like Johnny Sexton who I don't think really deserved to have been nominated for that award. Lukanya Am, unfortunately, uh, didn't play at the Autumn Nation Series, so a lot of people forgot the good that he did during the year. But it isn't about them. It's about the statistics between those two players 
the one a world player of the year and the other one snubbed by world rugby and it's really a disgrace to uh, see such a quality player not even nominated for the uh, award it just shows you that if there's anybody that is biased it definitely is the northern hemisphere and also the people in charge of world rugby so i'm going to leave it at that guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think I might get a bit of slack from this, but I really don't care. I, I believe it is what it is, and I always pride myself in being fair and honest. So uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Until next time, this is the Rugby Guru. Cheers for now.